And the more I listened to my female students, the more I picked up on something troubling. These bright, talented young women were spending alarming amounts of time thinking about, talking about, trying to modify their physical appearance. They wanted so much to feel beautiful. What struck me was that their quest for beauty seemed, at least at times, to overrule, to overwhelm every other goal or interest they had. These were young women just embarking on their adult lives, and they were worried. They worried that they were too fat. They worried that their skin wasn't clear. They worried that they were already at the tender age of 20 getting wrinkles. They worried that they didn't look like a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model or a Victoria's Secret angel. They worried that they had cellulite. They worried that they weren't a size double zero. And I was worried about them. I don't like my legs. Every time I wear a skirt, I'll always keep tugging it down because I think my thighs are fat. So I went to my grad school advisor and I said, I got an idea, this is what I'm gonna study. All right, this is gonna be my thing, and in particular, I'm gonna consider how images like this might be affecting women. And she said, mm, nah, don't bother. All right, she, you don't need to look at that, she said, because really, smart women, they know better. They know better than to be affected by things like media images. my weight. Really? Yeah, most of my girls in my grade are really slim, like a tiny, and I'm bigger than them. I don't see myself as big, but I see myself as like right in the middle. Right. And I want to be skinny. Either you're too tall, you're too short, you're, you're too, too skinny, skinny, you're too fat. It doesn't seem so important what's inside to a lot of guys and girls. I feel pressure like that a lot, and then I try to go home and do sit-ups. I started losing weight, like I came back in grade nine, and I was thinner and stuff, and people just started talking to me.
the pimp. So uh, women know that the images of women they see in the media are often unusually thin, uh, possibly, possibly even eating disordered. Um, they know that the women they see in these images aren't representative of the general population of women. They understand that they are statistical outliers. And on top of that, women are very aware that in the real world, nobody, nobody actually looks like this. So that's the good news. Women do know better. They know about eating disorders. They know about Photoshop. That's great. Here's the bad news. It doesn't help. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter.